Here we are going to consider the simplest type of reflection, the reflection from a flat mirror. So here is a flat mirror. It is typically shown like this. This hatching represents the back side of the mirror. So on this side we have the shining surface from where we get light reflected. Uh, then we are going to place an object at some arbitrary position and we will consider a ray coming from the object and striking the mirror. So as it strikes, as it is incident on the mirror, we call it a incident ray. How the incident ray gets reflected is figured out using a perpendicular drawn to the mirror. But because it is a surface and not just a line, we call it a normal. So here is a normal drawn to the mirror at the point of incidence. And suppose our incident ray is making this angle theta i, the angle of incidence with the normal. Now the laws of reflection say that angle of incidence and angle of reflection, that is angle made by the reflected ray with normal, are always equal. And the incident ray, normal and reflected ray are always in the same plane. So using this, we can figure out where would the reflected ray be. We just take this much angle on the other side of the normal and draw our reflected ray. Now we all know that light travels in a straight line and so do our eyes. Our eyes intuitively know that if they see a ray coming like this, it must be coming along a straight line like this. So the source of that light ray must be somewhere over here. So the, our eyes are going to see an image somewhere on this extended ray. But we don't know where yet. For that we are going to take another ray and this time we will take a ray which is perpendicular to the mirror surface. So it becomes its own normal. So it makes an angle of incidence equal to zero. So angle of reflection is zero. In other words, the ray just gets reflected back on its own path. And to our eyes, it will appear to be coming from somewhere inside the mirror along this line. So our image is going to be somewhere on this red line and somewhere on this yellow line as well. Naturally, it will be at the intersection of these two rays extended backward. So this is our image. Now let us figure out some geometric relationships. So I'll mark a few angles and distances like this. Over here, these two angles are the complementary angles of angle of reflection and angle of incidence. And since these two angles are equal, their complements will be equal. So these angles are equal. Moreover, this angle is equal to that one because they are opposite angles. So this is equal to that and that is equal to this. So these two angles, in other words, must be the same. So we have two right angle triangles here, one on the top and one on the at the bottom of this mirror. Uh, they share a common side, this over here, and they also have an angle equal. Of course, there's one more angle, 90 degrees, which is equal. So all their angles are equal and they share one side. So they must be congruent. And if they are congruent, even these two sides will be equal. So this tells us that the distance of the object from the mirror and distance of the image from the mirror is equal. In other words, the image is formed at a depth which is equal to the distance of the object from the mirror. And finally, we are going to prove that this is always true, that the distance of image and object from the mirror are always equal. For that, we will turn our model into a parametric model. So I will get rid of all, everything else, all the clutter. And uh, we are just going to keep the image, the object, and one incident ray, reflected ray, and a normal. But this time, we'll be able to move these things and see what happens. So I'm moving this incident ray. I'm changing the angle of incidence. That shifts the normal and the reflected ray and its direction. But if in all these cases, you would notice the extension of the reflected ray is always passing through the image. So the image is not going anywhere. The image will stay where it was. And therefore, the, uh, the observation that we had that the distance of image and object are the same from the mirror, it still holds good.